What up, Doe Connors? We're going to be taking on the Brawly Red Zone event with the Oob slash Majub. This unit received an EZA on Global. Some of you might be on the fence right now about picking up the copy, let alone going for the full Extreme Z Awakening. So let's see how good this unit can be. Raises defense for one turn, causes Colossal or Mega Colossal, and lowers attack. Resurrected Warriors 130%, by the way. Attacking defense plus 100. Gains an additional attacking defense plus 100, depending on how much health you have. The more health, the better. All allies key plus 2, attacking defense plus 20. Transforms into Majub when below 50%. This is really good. Half health. <clears throat> That's really nice. So when he does, recovers 40% health. Attacking defense plus 120. Plus an additional attacking defense plus 120 when the character is the only Majin power category character attacking in the turn. All allies key plus 2 attacking defense plus 40 when there is another Majin power category ally attacking in the same turn. So if you're a solitary fighter, your stats will rise. If you're a team player, you will provide support to everybody. We're going to be going with the first one. He's going to be the only Majin power unit on the team. Uh, and then we've got randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow, plus an additional key plus 2 per rainbow key spheres obtained, plus an additional attacking defense plus 20 per rainbow key sphere obtained. So this unit is actually going to be pretty strong. He's going to have type advantage against the final round. We've given him max additional and uh yeah max links and everything so we're gonna be running him on the gt heroes team and he gets the full 200 buff thanks to these two lr7 years so our team is looking pretty stacked so the point here is to have this run be consistent and easy and also we're gonna see how hard this unit can hit compared to some of the other contemporaries or i guess some of the heavy hitting lrs so that being said let's jump in all right let's do this oh let me turn off auto uh, he doesn't have any intro animations or anything, so I'm just going to keep all that stuff off. The rotations are going to be the seven years together, and then uh, we're going to have the other seven year with the oob, which is perfect. Okay, so this is going to be how we set it up. Unfortunately, very unfortunately, <clears throat> these guys, oh man. Well, whatever. These guys don't get to really benefit. And the Piccolo, hopefully he gets hit sometime on his own later on. I'm going to keep him off rotation. The thing about the seven years is after turn one, they can be such a problem. That That's why I don't use this guy a lot for showcases. Whenever I'm doing showcases against Broly, I think almost always it includes the, the tech seven-year gods. It's always like that. And that sucks for me because I like Super Saiyan 4. I, I'm Team Monkey, but man, the more I've used the gods on this event, the more I've appreciated them more than the monkeys. It feels weird using them now. It feels like I've been cheating on them. All right, so they're done. These guys only get one super guaranteed. <clears throat> All right, one more. Oh. Well, we got the guard. That's what we want. Actually, wait a second. You know what? I think one cool thing about the Majub, there's no turn restriction on his transformation. Yeah, as long as your health falls below uh, 50, is it 50% or 40%? 40%. Hold on. I, think I read that wrong no 50 percent. okay so these two guys are together we're gonna keep it that way um i could put him in slot one honestly and maybe try to take more damage because if we do we can get majub early so actually you know what i think i'll do that i'll do that just for the sake of uh making the making the likelihood of the transformation better so let's do that that way, the seven-year gods get to launch possibly another super. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Not this song, not yet. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm a little under the weather, so forgive me if I'm a little loopy or if, uh, you know, things seem a little discombobulated. <clears throat> Taking some medications for... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're below 50. So... Uh, as long as we don't heal it back, which I don't think we will, uh, we'll be... Oh, wait, no, Bulma. Oh, dang it. Bulma's going to ruin that. Okay, so the next turn, one of the seven-year gods will, will eat up some damage, hopefully. I fuck a bit. that. And Bulma now. Oh, not yet. Maybe we'll be okay. Uh, if I do... I'll do this. Do that. And we'll do that. I do realize that the Super Saiyan 4s will not 
probably be able to stack here, but it's fine. Got to keep things even. And we fell below 50. Cool. Next turn, we heal. Actually, I wonder which happens first. Does the Bulma support memory kick in and ruin the heal? The transformation for the Oob? Or will both happen simultaneously and we end up at full health? That would actually be pretty funny. All right, so yeah, these guys don't get to stack. It's fine. Yep, Bulma ruined it. Thank you, Bulma. <laughs> Stupid Bulma! Oh my god. Okay. So let's do this. Then we'll have the Super Saiyan 4s do their ting. And then we'll have Piccolo do his thing as well. We should take a good chunk of damage. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Okay, 130. Actually, if he gets hit with a super, that's GG, I think. Even with double super here. There's one. Can we get one more? Nope. Dang. Okay. I would have liked to have taken a little bit more, but I might have miscalculated there. It's okay. I think uh, before we get to the AGL Broly phase, we should most definitely have Maju transformed. We, we have too many defensive holes on this team for that to not be of inevitability. Plus, we got the Whis when we get to the AoE phase, so, you know, we'll be fine. All right, good damage, good damage, good damage. If Piccolo gets hit, actually, Piccolo is only running at 170%, so he could take a little bit more. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. 20,000. Oh, wow. Yo! We did take some damage. Let's go. That's what I wanted, baby. Let's go. Everybody's mad. Okay. Let's do this. We actually could die here. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I should be excited or scared. Actually, where the heck is Bulma? Oh, Bulma was already used. Right, right, right. Bulma was already used. Okay, with all this healing, I think we actually should be okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Wow. Piccolo, GG for throwing there. All right, guys. Now that we've thrown, now that we've got the conditions set up, we can transform and we can be on our way. There's that. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One more. Uh, are the Super Saiyan 4s going to get the stack at all? Okay, they get one. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. They're still not beefy enough, but we're going to have to use an item anyway. Okay, here we go. AoE time. Why did I think some voice dialogue was coming up? Okay. Well, now that he's transformed, we have 40% extra health. And just in time, too, it gave us the ability to transform into Gogeta. That actually was pretty clutch. All right, so let's go ahead and transform as well. We can foresee all attacks. Um, I know I didn't have to here, but I just figured it's better to do it now before we lose the opportunity. Okay, so this guy now has 40% uh, heal. He's got the full passive attacking defense plus 120 times dos. So, yeah. I think I should also transform the, the Super Saiyan 4s. I'm going to do that. Let's do that. Okay. So let's have Oob go first. Majub, who's got the better defense. And you know what? I want to see how much he takes. So let's have him go first. Then we'll have the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta go. And then we will have the yeah, other Gogeta go. We're taking 82 per slap on the STR phase. Good to know. 6.6 .6 million attack stat. We only have three links in common on this turn. Only three links are firing. And we're launching two supers, so we're raising attack and defense twice. 2.4 million damage, and now we're taking double digits. All right, cool. So that's good. That's that's actually really impressive. Taking less than 100k on the STR Broly is always significant. On a slap. And we cancel. 
and be super again. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen this. It's been a while since I've seen these attacks. Oh, it feels good. Oh, this one right here. Oh, oh. one more. Can we OTK? Meh. Maybe not. Maybe no OTK. But you to wave dash with multiple supers, even from him. I don't think we're getting an OTK. As long as we... Yeah, okay. Well, we're within striking distance of using the active skill next turn. So... Ooh, you know what? Nope, we don't have to. We don't have to. Actually, I'm going to big brain this. I'm going to have the Super Saiyan 4s go first. Then... I'm going to have the Gold Duda do that. And we're going to heal. We're not even going to bother with an active skill. There's no need. We're going to get some free stack in here. There's one. And there's another one. All right, cool. Perfect. It's about to get intense, Kakarot. No offense. But it's been intense all along. All right, he is attacking in slot one, but only after I get to go, which is noise. What are the links we got? Oh, we only got one link. Oh, no. We actually had more before. I realize now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Well, you know what? We're going to see this oob function as a solitary fighter. This Majub. That's, that's an L. I mean, he is kind of hard to link with. Like, if you look at his... Let me actually switch over to the Dokkan API. Let me show you how this guy is difficult to link with. Take a look at what he's got. So in his uh, Majub state, best link buddy is the other Majub. So of course that would work. If we were to bring him though, we would butcher his solitary stat building because he would then support everybody for the turn. But we would get a whole lot of synergy from this guy, therefore kind of making up for it. So that's one thing. Also, um, if we have, just look at his regular form. Look at his best link buddy. I mean, these dudes, these weirdos. But he did share three links to be fair with the LR Super Saiyan 4s right here. So this is about how much we got. So in terms of this guy really linking up with units, he's just, he doesn't have it. Because he's got the weird combination of links because of the fact that he's part oob, part, or part boo, part human, right? So things like infighter, cold judgment, then he's got Majin power, or not Majin power, revival. So it, it's a very weird combination of links. That's why this dude's kind of weird, but still, he works. So if we pick up enough rainbow keysters, we can actually give him more stats, right? Attack and defense plus 120, or 20%. So let's see if we can do that. Let's give him three, okay. So we're going to give him three of these. So with all of that, I imagine we're going to take some damage here. Guess there's no need to play games. I'm pretty strong this time around. Yeah, we don't really care about that damage. I just feel like this run might end. So I kind of just want to see uh, how much he can do here. So we'll do that. And uh, we'll do that. So for the sake of science, no items. Let's see how much damage we take. 45k per slap. Okay, good to know. And now with hopefully double supering let's see how much damage we take after this 4.4 oh we couldn't get an additional no only one super under our belt all right how much damage are we going to take no items and one link active the gt link is the only link that is active how much are we going to take 356 okay that's pretty good i would say that's pretty good you launch an additional super attack, that damage cuts down to like 80k, probably. I do think that that Super Saiyan 4 Goku at the end is probably going to get me killed here. And if he doesn't, then I think Piccolo comes back next turn, we get the full heal, and then we'll just we'll wipe him out. So you know what? For the sake of science, I'm very happy with what just happened. I do like that. I love that. Okay, so there's one. One more? There we go. All right, he's massively raising defense twice. So we shouldn't die here. We should most likely survive this. I don't imagine we'll be in any sort of... Yeah, we're fine. All right. Piccolo. Oh, he's not here. Oh, shoot. Uh, whoops. <laughs> All right, I guess we're just going to double up on items then. Let's transform everybody. Okay, you know what? Actually, I kind of want to hear these. It's been a while. It's been a while. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's throw on the the animation suite here. Let's start with uh, let's start with this one because I think the Gogeta Super Saiyan Four can grab the win. Let's do it. You 
my most devastating attack! I'll finish you off with this! Ultra a big bang! bang. Oh. So close! <laughs> uh, we're getting hit right away. So I pushed auto battle instead of item... All right, just in case. I actually don't want this run to go to waste, so we'll do that. Uh, who has the better links? Wow, really? The blues? Okay. So we'll do that. And then we'll do that. And that is GG. Oh, we're going to finish this off with a time to get serious. So there you have it. The Majub, a very strong unit as a solitary fighter. Not so much in terms of links. So if you're trying to find the best link buddies, it's going to be kind of tough. So if you're going to be running him on a Majin power team, he does function as a great slot three uh, with that ability to support. But if you run him as his own Majin power unit on any team, he will produce some pretty solid numbers. And as you saw against Broly, 45k per slap pre-super. That was with a couple of Rainbow Key Spheres picked up. And uh, he did about, what? He had about 6 million attack stat and he did about, what? 5 million damage and then he took 360,000 damage. So if you put that into the, you know, the ranks of all the different units that are supposed to survive attacks from Broly, that's not bad considering he's a free to play LR. Not bad at all. So there you have it. Wanted an excuse to run the LR Super Saiyan 4s back on this team and I got it. So thank you, Oob. I like him. Is he a must have? I think, I don't think he is as a must of a have as maybe like the LR Meta Cooler. Because in terms of his free-to-play presence, I think the Meta Cooler has more of an impact than this unit. But of course, that's just my opinion. You can have your own. He's fun to use, though. I do like him, and I will be running him more. I'm going to try him again with that other Majub to get the support side of his passive going. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about the LR Oob slash Majub? Do you like what he's able to do? Do you like his regen capabilities with that 40% heal? Let me know your thoughts about the unit overall in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future and click the notification bell so that you'll be sure to know when to see more of my stuff. Thanks again. Stay tuned and don't forget to Dokkan responsibly.